Hello, good morning viewers. Hi, I am Deepak Oshisht and today I am going to show you how you can use period allocation in Dynamics 365. So for the period allocation, first of all, we need to understand that what is the purpose of period allocation. Sometimes the company or the management want to allocate the particular expenses on the basis of different allocation methods or the different situation. For example, rent as per the area of the location or maybe the department, uh, the management wants to allocate the expense. Another case where you can say like any kind of a fair or that it is meant expenses, they want to allocate that on the basis of how many centers we have and they want to allocate on the basis of percentage. Sometimes the management can also think about it. The expense should be allocated among the branches, of, uh, but not on the basis of a percentage or not on the fixed weight, but even they want to allocate on the basis of basis. So let's have a look. First of all, we have allocation method, which is four types, basis, fixed percentage, fixed weight, and spread evenly. It means in this method, if you will specify the first, which is the fixed percentage, in that case, it will allocate the, all the expenses in that per particular proportionate percentage. Next is fixed weight. That will automatically will distribute the amount in the proportionate ratio. Another one is a spread evenly. It is easy to understand. Like if you are using three dimension, it will allocate that 33.33% in each dimension. If you have four, then it will allocate 25%. Or if you have a five dimensions, then it will allocate 20% in each dimension. Now the last one which we have is basis. In the cases of basis, you can allocate the balance of your account uh, in on the basis of the different balance of your other accounts. Like for example, you want to allocate your profit, the distributable profit among your partners. So in that case, or the shareholders, in that case you can use basis. So how much shares they have accordingly, you can also allocate your uh, dividend or the profits can be divided. Now the components. Here for the allocation methods, we have four components, general setting, source data, destination data, and offset entries, which we need to set up here. Now let's have a look practically how we can set up these all the things here. So now we are here for a Dynamics 365 window where you can see that we have, first of all, we will go for ledger allocation rule. So ledger allocation rule, under the periodic activities, so you can click on allocation and here we have allocation rule. So let's have a look which is already available here for advertisement. So advertisement is your rule and there is a no any effective in the expiry date. It means whatever the balance you have in that particular transaction, it will allow automatically allocate here. Now let's, we will go for general setting first. So in the general setting, you will define that what is the name of your rule and if any administrative data you want to mention, you can define it. After that, you need to just activate that and in case, what will be the allocation method you will select here, which can be in a basis or any other method that can be selected here in the basis options. These are all of the four methods. After that, in which journal will you post this transaction, you can also specify it. And then what will be your sources account and accounts that you can define it. Now let's have a look in the offset account. So what will be your offsets accounts and all? So offset account will be source and the dimensions will be used as sources as well. So now we will go for the source where we will define that where we have a balance in the account. So actually the account which is advertisement account that have a particular balance and we can specify that account. 
So this, this bank account balance should be allocated in our dimensions, which we have these one, two, three, four, five, and six dimension. One, which is the home dimension. Two, that is auto dimension. Three, which is management consultant practices. And four, IT consulting. Five, electronics. And the six is supporting. So in these six uh, business units, we want to allocate our expenses. So it will allocate the expenses on the basis of your basis ID. What is your basis ID? You need to think about it. So it's basis ID is one. So whatever the balance you have in the basis ID one, that will be allocated. As you will click on that, it will show you the basis ID one, which means is this. And if you want to go for the source code of this account. So it will show you where is your account balance. Account balance, which is 401 source criteria. So from this account, it will check the balances. So you can define these things. If you have, in that case, you can easily calculate your ledger allocation rule. So now let's have a look. Last of all, at last, we want to run the allocation journal. So you can you have that which you have you will use allocation request journal process allocation request before that I want to show you this this is process allocation request you will run this if you want to run it you can specify which method that you want to run and what is the date today so you can mention it as of the date selected do you want to post or do you want to see it's before posting? So you can select proposal here and then you can just do it okay. As it's done, then you will go to the process allocation journal. Allocation journal will be used. As the process is completed, you can again click on that and you can go for allocation journal this time. So as you will click on the journal allocation, it will automatically calculate the allocations for you on the basis of what is your allocation. See, this is your account, which has a balance and it has been automatically been adjusted here. So now you can post your transaction. This is advertisement. If you want to see, this is advertisement expenses. So finally you can post your transaction and it will be posted. So it will always allocate the balances on the basis of your accounts balances. So that was the demo for that. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully I will update some other videos. So keep watching and please don't subscribe it. Please don't miss to subscribe it.